Hi Akash, what are you doing? Hi Jen. I am just wondering why, all the parts of the computer, are connected to the CPU. Because, CPU controls the working of all parts, that is why, it is called, the brain of the computer, remember? Yeah I remember, but how does it control other parts? It contains a software, known as operating system, or in short, OS. Using OS it controls, all the parts of a computer. Oh. Really? What exactly does, an operating system do? When, we type on the keyboard, it is displayed in the monitor. But what, we type actually goes to the CPU, and the CPU instructs, the monitor to show it. These steps, are called input, process, and output. Let me tell you, about this in detail. At the end of this unit, you will be able to State the types of operating systems Describe Microsoft Windows operating system Describe desktop, icons, taskbar, and start menu There are two different types, of operating systems. They are Single user, operating system, multi user, operating system. Click each highlighted operating system type to learn more about it. A single user operating system allows only one person to work on it at a time. Like the operating system we are using, only one person can work on it at a time. Few, of the single user, operating systems, a Windows XP, Microsoft, Disk Operating System, Macintosh, Operating System, Windows 7, Windows 95 and 98. A multi-user, operating system, allows many people, to work using the same computer, at the same time, or different times. The main computer, is attached, to many other computers. It is called the, mother computer. Operating systems, such as, Windows 2000, Windows NT, Unix, Linux, and, so on, are multi-user, operating systems. Multi-user, operating systems, are used in, offices, hospitals, and, Railway Stations Let us now, learn about Microsoft Windows operating system in detail. The operating system, we are seeing now is Microsoft Windows 7. It gets automatically loaded, when we switch on the computer. It is a single user operating system. This screen that appears on the monitor is called the desktop. Desktop appears when the operating system is completely loaded. The desktop contains icons, and, a taskbar. Click each highlighted item, to learn more about it. Icons on the desktop may represent a file, a folder, or even a program or software. Do you know what a file is? A file in Windows, is similar to a file used by us, to store papers, and certificates. A file contains data programs, and, the like. We can store sound files, movie files, documents, or anything that, we wish in files. Now let us learn about folders. A folder is used to store a group of files. A folder can contain, other folders too. Did you know? The first Windows operating system, Windows 1.0, was released in 1985. The taskbar is a horizontal bar, usually at the bottom of the screen. It contains buttons, and, icons, which represent programs that are currently, open on the computer. 
Do you know we can change the position of the taskbar? Let me show you how. Click the highlighted step button to know how to change the position of the taskbar. Move the mouse pointer to an empty space on the taskbar. Click and hold the mouse. Drag the mouse pointer to any side of the computer screen. Release the mouse button. Now, we have moved the taskbar to the top of the desktop screen. Now let us learn about the start button and start menu. This button in the taskbar with the Windows logo on it is the start button. When we click this button, a menu appears. Click the Start button to open the menu. This menu is called the Start menu. The Start menu is divided into two parts, the left pane and the right pane. The left pane shows a list of recently opened programs. Some programs have a small arrow symbol. When you move the mouse pointer to these symbols, they display the recently used items of the program. The left pane is also used to do the following. When you click on all programs it displays a list of programs in an alphabetical order. When you click on accessories, a list of programs appears. You can click on any one of them. To get back to the programs open, the start menu, and click back. At the bottom of the left pane, there is a search box, which allows us to search for, all the programs in our computer. The right pane, provides access to commonly used files, folders, settings and features. You can also turn off your computer from here. Did you know? We can also open the start menu by pressing the Windows key in the keyboard. Thanks Jen. Now, I know about the operating system. There are two different types of operating systems. They are single user operating system and multi user operating system. A single user operating system allows only one person to work on it at a time. A multi-user operating system allows many people to work using the same computer at the same time or different times. In multi-user operating system, a main computer is attached to many other computers. It is called the mother computer. Multi-user operating systems are used in offices, hospitals, and railway stations. Desktop appears when the operating system is completely loaded. The desktop contains icons and taskbar. Icons on the desktop may represent a file, a folder, or even a program or software. A file in Windows is similar to a file used by us to store papers and certificates. A file contains data, programs, and so on. A folder is used to store a group of files. A folder can contain other folders too. The taskbar is a horizontal bar, usually at the bottom of the screen. It contains buttons and icons which represent programs that are currently open on the computer. The start button is in the taskbar. When we click on it, Start menu will appear. The start menu is divided into two parts, the left pane and the right pane. The left pane shows a list of recently opened programs. The right pane provides access to commonly used files, folders, settings and features. Am I correct Jen? Exactly, you are a fast learner. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.